How many cords of firewood can a man cut in one day? Let's find out. All the snow is turned to water Christmas days have come and gone
So that's all the time I have to, to share in video. I've got to put the camera away and actually get to work and get something done. It takes, some folks ask, ask how long does it take to do a job? How much longer does it take to do a job when you have to video it? Um, I would say uh, four to 10 times longer. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, probably three or four times longer uh, if you want to do a really good video. It's one thing to set up a tripod and turn on the camera and let it go and make a boring video, but to make something that's watchable, it's uh, yeah, probably four, four times as long, long to do it. What I typically do is film a part of it, like you know, doing a couple decks up here and then, uh, and then uh, I'll shut the camera off and then, and then get some, some real work done. So I've got a special surprise for you. How about Manly Manners? We haven't done a Manly Manners for a long time. If you're joining us for the first time, I found this, this old book. It was published in 1913 called Don'ts for Husbands, and it's good advice for, for us men for relationships, young and old, um, and a delightfully politically incorrect, which I like. So as is our custom, we'll leave it to Providence, Providence and just open to a page, and I've opened one up here, and we're going to read and see how that applies to us. Don't expect to have a hobby in which you get the enjoyment, while your wife does the hard work. If you profess to like gardening, don't tie up a rose here and there while your wife does all the hard weeding. If poultry keeping <laughs> is, your, is your hobby, don't expect her to do all the feeding and the letting out and the letting in of the birds. If photography, don't confine your work to taking a snapshot here or there and leaving her to do the developing and printing while you take all the credit. Oh, hobbies. Okay. So how, I guess what, what we need to ask ourselves are our, our, our hobbies, um, a burden for our loved ones. And I could say that I am guilty of that. Just, just last night, I, we, we went on an, um, an epic dirt bike ride yesterday, came home late. And of course, you know, I take off, there's a lot of gear involved with dirt biking. I took off my, my boots and my pants and my gloves and my armor and all the stuff. And I, and I dumped it on the floor, right, right by the living room floor with f fully intending to, to go back there and get it. Well, of course, you know, I didn't go back and get it. And this morning, the, the Manly Manners convicted me of it. My lovely wife had taken all of it and put it away. So my hobby um, and my ha has inconvenience. Well, it has inconvenience, inconvenienced her. Sorry, I don't. I can't speak today. So, um, where do we gain? From? How, I, I guess that's a. I guess I need to be more. I guess we need to be more more awake, uh, alive about. Or... I'm so tired that I just can't think straight. The point is, is that let's be careful if we're taking on hobbies. We have things that we're really passionate about um, that, and be careful that they don't end up causing our wife more work. Do we have the hobby of, do we like to work beyond computers or, or video games? And, and we spend so much time doing that, that our wife has to pick up the slack and do more things around the house or, or things that maybe we should have done, or is our hobbies um, taking us away from the house and away from time with our kids um, is a tough one. It's, it's a, that's a tough call because it's, I think it's important to have um, things that you can do on your own, especially uh, for, for guys. I can speak for guys because I am one. Uh, for me, I really enjoy, I enjoy being with my family more than anything. But I also really enjoyed yesterday going out and, and having a few hours with Jack and, and some, some guys from the fire department um, doing something different. But, and, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with either one of those. But make I, I've got to make sure that those hobbies don't bleed into um, my family wife and put an undue burden or stress upon her um, or or the rest of my family I guess well let me know do you have a hobby that's uh, causing um, anguish and grief and aggravation for your spouse you know maybe think about it maybe uh, maybe we uh, it's good for us to reflect on these things from time to time so we can make corrections and uh, because when our wives are happy, we're happy. So thanks for watching. And uh, the firewood, just uh, quickly, uh, it's nice if you can cut your firewood a year in advance. Um, the old timers would usually start cutting in the early spring or even in the winter time uh, for firewood for the, for the next year. That way they could um, um, deck it or they could stack it up, pile it up, and let it dry through the summertime and then put it away in the fall and have nice dry firewood. So we uh, burned about this winter, 
I think, um, I was talking to Vince about this, I think when everything is said and done, probably about five and a half chords. Five and a half chords, maybe six. That's pretty good because um, we're home all day. We're home all the time and the fire burns constantly. It never goes out. Um, so, so I'm pretty happy with that. We have enough firewood for probably cutting out before I started today for probably another couple years. And what, I, what, what this big log deck over here, we should have, uh, we'll, fire, we'll have firewood for ages, ages. But uh, you can never have too much, never have too much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. And um, we'll see you on the next one.